What is the difference between hypertension and high blood pressure? Two different terms, same condition. Yes, you may be surprised to learn that they are indeed one and the same. The term hypertension is common in medical settings because it's more precise. It's derived from the Greek hyper, which means above, and tension, which means pressure. Whereas the term high blood pressure is generally used by the public and public health campaigns. Regardless of what you call it, High blood pressure is a serious condition that can lead to health complications over time, even though there are usually no symptoms present. That's why it also has a third name, the silent killer. Blood pressure is the force of blood against the walls of the arteries as the heart pumps blood throughout the body. When that force is consistently too high, we call it high blood pressure. And if left untreated, high blood pressure can cause damage to blood vessels and organs, as well as put you at higher risk for kidney disease, heart disease, and stroke. The only way to know for sure if you have high blood pressure is to have it measured. Because remember, there are no symptoms. Your blood pressure is recorded as two numbers. Systolic blood pressure is the top and first number, and it indicates how much pressure your blood is exerting against your artery walls when the heart beats. Diastolic blood pressure is the bottom or second number, and it indicates how much pressure your blood is exerting against your artery walls while the heart is resting between beats. For healthy adults, blood pressure is considered normal, healthy, if it is under 120 over 80. For children, blood pressure ranges are different, and it depends on their age, height, and sex. It's worth noting that there are two types of high blood pressure. Primary, which is the most common, and secondary, which is caused by an underlying medical condition. For both types of hypertension, treatment involves lifestyle changes, medication, or both to lower the blood pressure to a healthier range. And this brings me to the most important part, what you can do about your high blood pressure. First, lifestyle changes. That should include eating a diet like a DASH diet, a diet to help manage blood pressure. DASH stands for Dietary Approach to Stop Hypertension. It emphasizes regular servings of fruits and vegetables, whole grain foods, fat-free or low-fat dairy products, skinless poultry and fish, nuts and legumes. I'm talking about a healthy diet that's low in salt because salt causes fluid retention that increases blood pressure. Second, regular physical activity. When your heart beats faster and stronger, it becomes more efficient at pumping blood. This leads to a decrease in your resting heart rate, an increase in cardiac output, both of which result in lower blood pressure. Third, quit smoking. Stop right now. I mean right now. Even if you don't have high blood pressure, quit smoking. Because smoking cigarettes causes the heart rate to increase, blood vessels to narrow, and that combination makes it much harder for the heart to pump blood efficiently. Over time, smoking damages the walls of the blood vessels and increases your risk for a buildup of plaque, a condition called atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis can lead to heart attack, stroke, and other very serious problems. So when you quit smoking, you're doing it not only for yourself, but for other people around you because all of the negative side effects can happen just from exposure to secondhand smoke. Lastly, take your medications properly. Your doctor prescribed medicines because they reduce the risk of complications, improve your overall health, and prevent damage to organs. Uncontrolled high blood pressure can lead to very serious health problems. So remember, understand your numbers, the top one, the bottom one, or the first one, second one, whatever's easiest, and focus on taking control of your good health. A healthy diet, regular physical activity, 
quitting smoking and taking your medicines is the key. If you have questions about your health, I'd love to hear from you. Comment below, hit subscribe, and join me here next time for answers you can trust.